March for Our Lives movement began with students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Now, some alumni of that school live in our area now, and they're working to make sure every Parkland student who wants to be here to march on Saturday, they want to make sure they can afford it. Here's John Henry. Earlier today, I stopped at this coffee house, Firehook Bakery, and talked to D.C. resident Rachel Nicewander Thomas. For her, the Parkland shooting hit close to home. I'm class of 1998 at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. You're coming out with one injured person. Uh, I mean, the moment you hear that this has happened, you think of yourself being on that campus. And the idea that the, the current students have had to have this experience is... It's, it's unreal. How quickly did you all come together? Just in 72 hours, we had about 11,000 alumni come together. And then the alumni here are very much dedicated to making sure that the student movement is echoed, that it's amplified, and that it's successful in making sure that we have serious policy change in this country. That's why they're helping to bring Parkland to D.C. You're trying to raise uh, how much money to, to support students? So we set a goal of $75,000 several days ago, and we've blown through that. That has gone first and foremost to support bringing nearly 1,000 students and chaperones up to Washington from Parkland for the march in D.C. this weekend. She said it goes hand in hand with the lessons of her alma mater, where students are encouraged to act. It's really a school that teaches you to be a leader, to help where you can. We mean it when we say never again. Now the remaining money from that fundraiser will go back to Parkland to help students and staff recover. From Northwest, John Henry, WUSA 9.